in the case of immigration, if you hard restrict it and make it harder to get in, the only people who are going to make the attempts to get in or generally going to make the attempts to get in are more likely to commit crimes. Well, well that's just not – there's no – there's no data or evidence to, to suggest that at all. When we've had the strictest immigration policies, crime was at its lowest in this country. Well, so in the 1950s, that's correlation. We, well, no, it's actually direct causation. Right now, we have wide open borders, correct? DNA background testing from over 120 different countries. Sure, but I, so, don't, I don't think that has to do with the process of getting into the country. Uh, in, well, it has to do with the process of getting in the country because if it's extremely difficult to get in through legally, people are going to resort to coming through illegally. Well, is that not true? Well, but we should just prevent both. I mean, that's the point. You're, you should you should prevent people getting in in any way. Yeah. Well, we should have a total immigration but, moratorium in this country. But completely. We have like the lowest unemployment we've had in a long time. Wouldn't we want more workers? No, we want wages to go up for American workers. Yeah. It's the opposite. Well, so you want to restrict the labor pool so that you guys get the jobs first, not some competitor from Korea or Japan that comes in and steals your tech job. Shouldn't we invest in American workers first before foreigners? We should. We should. But why, why do you think wages are not keeping up with inflation? Because we're bringing in millions of people into this country every single year that if, you guys have to compete against, and they don't have student loan debt. If we're bringing so they're in able to undercut wages every single year. Yeah, continue. If we're bringing in so many people, I don't think we would have as low unemployment as we would right now. Would we? There's two types of unemployment. There's structural unemployment, and then there's specialized unemployment. Specialized unemployment is very, very high, yeah. which is about 8 to 9 percent, which is more computer science, data engineering. But that we, have, we have millions of people that have entered the disabled roles, too. So, but to your point, we do have millions of people coming into the – I mean, it's, it's, a, it's not even a, a question. But how many of those people do you think that are coming in or would come in if we made it faster – and more easy are going to be taking these high specialized tech jobs. Well, very few, but the point is that so then, then they the point about well, they undercut the muscular class, which is the very people that pay the biggest burden for all but these policies. You, you said that the high unemployment is in specialized, not in general unemployment. Correct. So if, yes. if general unemployment is so low, then why does it like why are we worried about people coming in taking the jobs of like the Well, labor? that's not the only reason why we're worried. We're worried because many of them are coming in illegally and it's they're they're criminals, every single one of them. So that's, they break our laws. I think you're proving my point here though. But no, you're, you're just making one sliver of economics, though. Uh, numbers aside, how many of you guys have seen things get so expensive in the well, last year and a half? Okay, yeah. so that's just... I, I mean, agree, yeah. but the re I think that's just, we have different reasons, because I see that major companies... Wh why are prices going up? I see major companies are owning different things like cereal brands. There's like two companies that own all cereal brands, and when they can increase the prices continually and say, hey, look, guys, it's inflation, when they're making record profits that they've never made like, yeah, if before... Yeah, if that's the case, then, then why are small businesses raising their prices? Small businesses are raising their prices because the products that they're getting in from these major two, three companies are Okay, so how up. does inflation work? Inflation works by having more money in the system. And generally, um, because of that, your dollar is worth less. And yep, then your wages right. don't really increase. And Correct. because your wages don't increase, everything's costing more to you. So, so true yeah. or false, we have injected around $10 trillion of new money in the last three years. Absolutely. Okay, and so yeah, that, that is the number one reason yeah. why we're seeing prices increase. Absolutely. But I think it's slow. The inflation itself has slowed down a lot. And the prices themselves. It, it depends on what good or service you're talking about. I agree. Yeah. And I think the reason it's what good or service is because the goods or services that are in control of borderline monopolies are able to raise their prices more and more. That's why when you go to the grocery store, the big issue is a bunch of things are going up that are controlled by major companies that are supplying all these grocery stores, right? Yeah, but a lot of them have competitors. And so, yeah, I mean, I, I, can, I can list five or six examples where there's robust competition and prices are still going up. But we have too many dollars to chasing too many, too few goods and services. That's the big problem. Our worker base isn't really churning as it should because we have such low unemployment, which is why I'm saying immigration should be easier to come in because when your workers aren't moving through positions and stuff, wages aren't going to increase that often because you're more likely to get a wage increase by switching to another job that pays okay, you more. Yeah, so wouldn't it make, if you want to get wages up, shouldn't you want to restrict the amount of workers in the workforce? Um, I mean, I, it's pretty, it's, so if you have 200 people you could hire to fix a window or 30 people to hire to fix a window, which, which pool is going to have the higher average wage? I think the, I think the smaller pool would. Okay, we but agree. The, the issue is a lot of people right now aren't wanting to go switch to other jobs all the time. And when you get more people in more jobs, you're likely to have more churn through there. Okay, yeah, that, I don't think we disagree on that. Okay, cool. So that's, that's why I'm saying... Yeah, like, but I, 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 you don't have me convinced on the immigration issue, though. Okay, because but, if, if you restrict immigration across the board then you have, a, you have a, a, a prioritization and a lesser pool of competition for foreign-born American labor. Sure, but w w you, I think, it, am I wrong in saying your issue is that 
you have issues with specialized labor coming in and taking the positions of higher paying Both. more specialized? Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's it's specialized muscular class labor, which is conflated. Yeah. So there's there's advanced manufacturing too, which does not require a college degree, but can take six to nine months of apprenticeship. Or for example, being an auto mechanic, that's not exactly being a coder, yeah. but that's tough work, right? Sure. Um, or you know, even more simply- I, I just don't think that that's the majority of labor that is going to come in if we allow more people through. And it's not like a blanket, oh, we're letting everybody through. But right now I see my biggest issue with the right is that like, why are we restricting more immigration other than like illegal immigration? But why are we not proposing ways to loosen immigration to fix that the jobs that aren't like that? Because there's like most jobs aren't generally in those classes. No, I, you're coming after this in good faith. My, my re response would be, we need a national training program to get Americans properly trained before we try to import foreign labor to fill those positions. And that goes back to my college as a scam type postulization. So we have oversupplied the credentialing, which is for your college degree, and we've undersupplied the six to nine month specialization vector. And because of that, we have massive job openings. I want to get to the next yeah, question. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it.